was ten, I got to witness my first death. When I was ten, I got to witness my first death. In autumn of 1997, I had come home late from school one evening. Three hours late, actually, and my mom had already gone to work by then. So I flipped on the six o'clock news. And live, on the wire, was a breaking report. A robbery down at the local grocery store, and the manager was being interviewed by some Al Roker lookalike. I had to do a double take. Two shelves were empty. I said, hey, that's where we keep our marshmallows. and I made my way into the bathroom. I swung open the door, and my little brother Daniel was already in there, sitting on the floor, surrounded by bags of marshmallows. His back was turned from me, his little white pudgy face filled with marshmallows. Little pudgy face. I watched him reach down into the bag to grab another marshmallow. He put it in his mouth and let out a sound. Chubby bunnies, don't eat lettuce. Chubby bunnies, eat marshmallows. I dropped the lettuce and ran.
over and over in my brain. He called me. Snapped out of it. Still running. Seven and a half miles to a mental health clinic. I checked myself in. White soft walls, sleeping in a marshmallow. Sleeping in a marshmallow. Seven thirty. Check myself out. Jumped on. The good out of town. When I was ten, I got to witness my first death. When I was ten, I got to witness my first death. When I was ten, I got to witness my first death. But now 